now that power is back, we need to figure out what the, we're using the rest of this stuff for. But I guess our first, um, our first stop should be the control room. I was really expecting that shadow to be there again. Whoa. It seems smokier than before. The outpost has an area of approximately 4,922 square meters, calculating when the outpost was abandoned. Considering the overgrowth, sunlight, and humidity, I estimate that the post must have been abandoned about six to seven months ago. The results are based on growth rates on Earth and comparable planets. The estimate could be off by several months, as we do not know this planet's peculiarities. Yeah, but I don't recall this fog being here. Like, when did it suddenly become Silent Hill? Ooh, we could go into the quarters now. Potential. Oh no, the communications console! Someone staked it like There's a vampire. Somebody here, your sensors must be going crazy. That bar didn't just fall from the ceiling on its own. I cannot rule out the possibility of a coincidence. However, I cannot register any material fatigue and my sensors detect physical interference. But I also cannot register any signs of life. That was our last hope of being saved. You should be hopeful as long as your basic biological functions are still active. Blood circulation, breathing, metabolic system. The lower levels of your Maslow's pyramid of needs are satisfied. Yeah. Well, somewhere in the middle of that pyramid is a level that says, I don't want to be stabbed in the back. Come on, show yourself. What was that? <laughs> it's like, Quick okay. Court. We have to get him. Wait. Hey, Standing Wolf. Oh, God. Okay, cinema scene. I was wearing our same suit, M. Luna. Two hours later. Is Corey okay? That's all I really care about. I see a medical ward. I see Core's body body down there, more or less. My head is throbbing and my throat hurts. Oh, blood. The attack. Of course that proves it. And even though I have a headache, I can still see it right before my eyes. The name tag on the attacker's suit. M Luna. The same name as the one on the card. Is that why the figure attacked me? Strange. I've still got it. What does this mean? I wish I understood. You need to worry about your little buddy. Ongoing alarm. Door cannot be opened. Damn. The door won't open. I have to get out of here and make sure the attacker won't damage anything else. If the plants get destroyed, I'll starve miserably. At least the station has power again. And where's the tin can? Kor? Oh no, Kor! Come on, power up! Don't you dare leave me here alone! I'm sorry I called you a tin can! A few of his cables are hanging out, and I can see a hole in the hull. But his memory module seems to be undamaged. That's something. Memory module. Um...
Yeah, in Luna. This contains waterproof plasters and bandages. Core's memory module. This contains his personality subroutines. Everything that makes him be him. I hope so, anyway. You're out of coffee creamer and sweetener? Oh no. This is a mixer for various substances. It won't help me right now. It's another one of those heavy duty 3D printers. A robot arm to extract blood and make injections. I've seen one of these before somewhere. Test tubes, instruments, pipettes. Nothing I could use to get out of here. This must be the console for the door. Download update recommended. Settings. Ooh, dear. Okay. I'll look at that here in a second. In it are a lot of light capsules for blacklight. But they're all different sizes. Even if I needed them, I'd have no idea what sockets they'd fit into. Another light capsule to compare might be helpful. We should take them all. to the label, it contains methyl hydrogen. So, methane. What? That photograph. That's Anthony, I'm sure. Matt? That is Finn. But... He's so old. He looks like he's seven or eight. I... But he was younger than that. How did it get here? Were they here? Was I here? Okay, calm. Stay calm. I wonder if this was like, um... I remember him being that old. Does that mean... I haven't seen him for that long. Yeah, if it's a thing kind of like Ripley and, and Aliens. If they were here, were they the expedition's goal? Or maybe it wasn't an expedition, but a search. Core. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. Yeah, Core got force thrown across the room. Stay calm, Tessa. Maybe Anthony was stationed here at some point, and I just forgot. I've never missed the two of them more. I hope I can find something in here to repair Core, or leave the medical ward. No progress without obstacles. How are you doing, Kath? Okay, so... We've got the mixer. Let's try the keypad. This must be the console for the door. Kowalski, analysis. Unexpected error. Oh, you got a vacation in December? That's awesome. Where are you heading, if you don't mind me asking? Do we want to download the update yet? Montreal, huzzah! This model cannot read this update. You are up to date. Well, at least we're graphically updated. 
Ongoing alarm. Door cannot be opened. This model cannot read this update. I'm wondering if there's something we can put Core's memory into. Double check to see the rest of the room. This is a mixer for various substances. Says it won't help me now. Robot arm can't do anything. Yeah, what does she like? Might have to endure a few hours of shows and movies that you're not into. Well, they're worth it. Must be the console for the door. You are up to date. This model cannot can't read it. Unexpected error. Unexpected error. Door uses today. Count Two. Try that. This model cannot read this up. Unexpected. Ongoing alarm. Chainsaw memory module. This is a photograph of Anthony and Finn that I found on a locker here in the station. They look happy, even though Finn is a bit older than I remember. Does that mean Anthony was here at some point? So why am I not in it? Is there anything else in the locker besides that photo? There's a small key here and... <gasps> to repair core. Not the hardware anyway. There's another one here. I think that might even be a newer model. Okay. That's better. Hey, buddy. Are you okay? Do you remember anything? Systems rebooting. Accessing database. My last saved entry is a sequence of special characters as if my swear protection algorithm optimized the entry. And why are all of my settings changed? I went after that figure, but then we were attacked. My memory's hazy, but there's one thing I saw. This person was wearing a name tag. It said M. Luna. That's the name from the ID card that I found in the suit. So maybe it was hers, but that was on our ship. Only you and Mark were on that ship. Yeah, strange, but that wasn't Mark. This person was smaller and daintier. He might have been able to squeeze into a suit like that, but well, I don't know, I couldn't tell. Whoever it was, the figure was able to take you out. Right. And gave me an injection in the neck. That's all I remember. And before that, she got you. I had to put your memory module into a different core model. Congrats on the new body. Ah, so that's why all the settings are different. One moment, please. So, this is new. Over here. And that here. Who would do that? Strange widget, be gone. 
<laughs> Startup menu to the bottom left, where it should be. Decline, decline, no. I do not want a newsletter. Classic mode, skip tutorial. A dark mode, that's unnecessary. Maybe later. And another entirely new function. Interesting. And what kind? Hollow records. This enables me to depict holographic recordings. If I am not mistaken, this station is equipped with hologram recorders. It looks like recordings are saved for every single room. That would mean we can see what happened here, right? Partially, yes. My access to the station's databases is limited, and a lot of the data has been corrupted. Little's better than Enough. none. Maybe yeah. we can find some answers. I wouldn't be particularly interested in one answer. Why I found a family photograph with Anthony and Finn on it here. And why is Finn so much older than I remember? I cannot trace back this photograph's origins, but I agree, we cannot determine how a private item of yours got here. One possible explanation is that one of you has been here before. Not that I can remember. It's very strange. Why did I have the vibe of one of you have been here before is like her, her uh, one of her. Use the button at the bottom right to let Cora show you the holographic recordings of this place. Select a recording to play it. Some recordings are subject to a lock. It can only be viewed by employees with higher clearance. Hmm. Damn it. One of the light capsules is broken. Could you get a new one? Can do. Blacklight, correct? Yes, obviously. Sure. We've got lots of those in storage. Door's blocked again. It keeps happening during those test alarms. Did you finally report the issue? Not yet. We've got more important things to report. You can fix it. Go to the console and into settings. There you can activate sleep mode and random mode. Then just press reset settings, then deactivate sleep mode and random mode again, and then press open door. It's pretty easy. That's what you call easy? <laughs> I like it. This must be the cons. What was that again? Okay. Turn on. Turn on. Reset. Settings reset. Then. Is it turn off again or do we turn them back on? I don't know. Let's see. Turn off. Settings reset. Ongoing alarm. One more time on that. I don't know why I just spaced. Damn, the door. Did you not yet? We've got more important. Activate. You can fix it. Go to the okay. It's pretty. That's what you call. Activate and deactivate. That's what I did. This must be what was that? Turn on. Okay. Settings. And then turn off. Turn off. And open door. There we go. That will not work, Tessa. A programming error like that would have been reported and examined. <gasps> Humans really are amazing creatures. You can learn all there is to know about their ways in a month, and yet after many years, they can still surprise you with their stupidity. Thank you, Gandalf. Yep. Why repair it when there's a way around that hardly anyone knows? What could possibly go wrong? It is October the 24th, if you really want to know. Injection gun for the subcutaneous injection of liquids. Just say syringe next time. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Huh. With this, the person must have given me the injection and then lost it on the run. Can it be useful for us? If there are any remnants of the liquid inside it, I could analyze it. Hmm. Yes, there's a bit left in here. Get going, Corey. 
beginning analysis. Analysis complete, comparing with available data. The composition is similar to a poison, which is known to affect people's memories over long periods of time. There are documented cases where memories did not return for several years, but it was made synthetically. Memory loss. So someone wants me to forget something? I guess this isn't the first time I got a dose of that stuff. Do you remember a previous injection? No, but hey, maybe that's why I forgot them. And I have all these gaps in my memory. And Mark too, according to his log. What if it has something to do with me forgetting this place and my family? I cannot refute your argument, but I cannot confirm anything, either. You should remember these questions so you can get proper answers. That's easier said than done when you've been injected with a potion of forgetfulness. Is there any way of neutralizing this poison? An antidote? Yes, it should be possible to synthesize an antidote. What do we need? A sample of your blood. Ascorbic acid, as pure as possible. Adrenaline to stabilize your heart rhythm. Adrenaline. Great. And ascorbic acid. So, vitamin C? Colloquially known as vitamin C, yes. The solution itself must then be made by a sequencer or similar mixing device, so we can be sure to get the correct dosage. Okay, so I have to draw some blood and find some vitamin C and adrenaline. Piece of cake. Planet with imminent memory loss. Mm-hmm. Alright, broken injection pistol. This was used to inject the substance that made me lose my memory. Vitamin C and adrenaline to make an antidote. Otherwise the gaps in my memory will just get bigger. This could fit a bike lock, a locker, or a medicine cabinet. You should try turning it off and on again. Court, there's a hole in the middle. My protocols indicate that a reboot will fix the problem in 92% of cases. There's sparks coming out of... The cables are out and it smells burnt. You can still try, just to be safe. <sighs> Fine, whatever. Core suggested it. Wait. 20 seconds. Now. Well, this seems to be one of the other 8%. Lucky us. Thank yes. God we tried it, just to be safe. Okay. I can manipulate the station systems here, but that won't help me making an antidote. Well, we know where vitamin C is. The incubators are working and my food supply is safe. And a laboratory is much, much more fun when it's got power. I'm sure we'll find something here, Core. Broken display. This console's display is intact and controls the incubator. Yes, you can open it from here. I would only recommend doing that if you want to retrieve something. The fruits inside there might help with my antidote. We have to risk it. Oh, God. Components are not behaving as expected. Great. To open the incubator, the values must be adjusted according to the environment. You can see them here, in this green area. Unfortunately, this system seems to have been damaged, too. 
Then we'll just adjust them manually. What the... The mechanics are influencing each other. Mm -hmm. In these adverse conditions, systems must be equipped for all eventualities. This makes for complicated reciprocity. You have to find a way to correct it. So that changes this one. getting fairly close so let's do this one This is going to be one I can brute force. Okay, hold on. I want to see what happens here. I'm going to just lower all of them down here. And do... One, two... got us fairly close to where we needed to be. It's all in the green, come on! Ah! I think we got it. Yeah! Did I do it? Finally! That was the key. Great. Let's hope these fruits will help me. There are more fruits in here. Some of them aren't ripe yet. As suspected, the system will provide you with enough sustenance. Okay. Well, now we're going to close it. Watch. Now you close it, you have to do the same thing. Close. I don't want to starve. Close the incubator after you took the fruit. Achievement unlocked. Yeah. Well. Okay, this cabinet is locked. Let's go ahead and try the key. just an ID card here. 
That should get us more access, though. That's... Anthony's cart. Your husband? So he was stationed here. Maybe the logbook stored on the cart can give us more detailed information. Yes. Good idea. Anthony Carter, biologist and chemist. Birthday, August 25th, 2167. Educated at the Academy in the service of the Intergalactic Mining Corporation since 2186. So, there for four more years than Melissa. Or Mark. That might be a clue. Born in Vancouver. Married to Tessa Carter. Their son, Finn Carter. And that's it. No. Oh, there you mind. something here about the effects of plants and secretions that he found on the planet. <laughs> Grez. Um. Interesting effects of poisons and secretions seems harmless like pepper. Hey, King. Conversation with Mr. Bishop, the supervisor. Resumed work on poisons and secretions. 12 new samples. Examination results. Strong nerve poison. Burns green. Mucus of the owl snail. Limb pain. Blood of the Chiari fox. Burns red. Sorting and securing digital data. Exciting topic? Not at all. Hard drive error. Sample box stored in personnel box. Four samples not examined. Took over teaching of my son. Important tasks in station management. Teaching and supervision private. Received new hard drives. Backed up and sorted digital data again. Very by the numbers. Close studying more plants and animals is taking a back seat. Now fully taking over supervision of my son. Teaching and supervising privately. Full-time work is still being pursued, but will hardly be possible. Uh, this is called Monolith King. It's a new point-and-click adventure game. Private lessons. Private lesson supervision. Laboratory oven defective. Hmm. Interesting. There's a date here. Cor, how long ago was this? According to the station's data, today is October 1st, so the entries are about 80 to 90 days old. That's... impossible. Your memories might be playing tricks on you. When was the last time you saw him? I... I can't say for certain. Anthony must have been stationed here. He wrote something about examining plants. He would not have done that on a short visit. These substances he has studied also sound very interesting. Perhaps they can be of use for the antiserum. I'll start it, just to test it. Ding! Ah! <sighs> few cables have burned out. Yep, the cable's insulation is gone because they weren't connected properly. I have to replace the insulation first and protect the cable from water. Who? Well, we, maybe data cable? Universal cable, but incompatible. I have to repair the existing cables. Um... Oh, whoops. This contains waterproof plasters and bandages. Put this around here. Okay. Now they should work again. I have to adjust the wiring to make sure this doesn't happen again. But correctly this time. Someone who didn't know what they were doing did a piss poor job putting it together. The cables are all wrong. Oh, thank you for that lurk, Pesky. I did not have my, um, 
alerts or anything on. Hold on, let me take care of that real quick. I completely... Just space that. Okay. There we go. I think we should be in good shape now. Uh, move objects and release them at their destination. Undo everything. Figure out what's what. Nope. There we go. Is the lamp which goes in here? Yes. Right, that should do it. I can use the oven now. Great. Finally, the oven is ready. This model can be heated up to precisely 2,000 degrees Celsius. Jesus. All right. Tony, I've got some... That was Mark. Tony, I've got some. Tony? Oh, hi, Mark. Then a scale. Yeah, I do too. This was used to vitamin C and adrenaline. Blood. Otherwise, the gaps. All right, where do I go for adrenaline? Energy, yes. Ah. Light, no. <laughs> Looks like the workplace of every programmer ever, including the coffee machine. Adrenaline is in your soul. Mm-hmm. Something, something. Cody Rhodes. Retrieve a box for hazardous materials. The other boxes are all assigned to individual employees. I'm going to need their ID cards. Hello, Robo Arm. So I'll have the 3D printer here and the coffee machine. There's a gas cartridge here. I'll take that. And various acids. I could probably use those too. Ooh. Wait, there's the. Take all the acid. I shouldn't carry around more than two of these acids. We can drop those off. How decadent. I need a cup. Now that's what I call a clean and disinfected cup. Damn, that's good coffee. We gotta try it now, right? Wait, I just had the cup. Wait. I'll put it back here. Yeah. Cup of coffee in the big time. Delicious. Ooh. All right. 
Um. This controls the 3D printer and has a lot of parts to choose from. Oh, good lord. Okay, we need to wait for that. I can retrieve a box for hazardous materials. The other boxes are all assigned to individuals. I'm going. The computer controls the robot to retrieve boxes from the ceiling. If you insert an ID card into the card reader, the chest belonging to this employee will be transported down. Ah. What do we got? Yeah. A strange wooden box. It's full of bottles filled with colorful powders and liquids. I can't read the labels. But the box itself is labeled A. Carter. I found it with Anthony's personal belongings, so these are probably animal and plant samples. These might be the samples Anthony wrote about in his logbook. Then one of them should have the properties of adrenaline. Can you tell me which one, Core? No, I know nothing about these substances. I am unable to distinguish their properties through analysis. Nonsense. These are obviously dehydrated world leaders. If you get that reference, congratulations, you're old. I can retrieve a... I'm going to... Um... What about the rest of the cards? What about Mark's? I don't think that's going to do much good. What? Yeah. So Mark really was stationed here. And not too long ago by the looks of it. But even if that's true and my memories were false, where were we going? strap. Now I have two of them. Hmm. Now for the real test. Why wouldn't it surprise me? Sure enough. Well, now I'm curious. Two resistant bands let the jazzercise begin. script here. A short story called A Little Monolith. It's the name it's of the game! by Melissa Luna. Okay. I didn't get the... There's a manuscript here. It's signed... Do I have a maximum amount of items or something? Go ahead and put that back. I can a box for ha I'm going now. Let's look at the notes. There are some elements and materials written down here. Shooter, Isabellin, Rainy, Partninium. Deponium, boric, mercury, sulfuric, hydrochloric. Don't know if there's anything I can do with that right now. Let's 
Let's, um... I feel so strange. Oh. Tessa, I think straying too far off the medical ward would be a bad idea. We cannot be certain what other effects the substance might have. You really don't? Okay. There are also papers here. Oh, I need to check the hollow log the too. The laser cutter we used in our last mission could not be salvaged. You're right. I can't stop the Precision skip. Tank. Okay, everyone ready? The emergency lockdown is about to be initiated. Ready! Very good. Here it goes. Warning, emergency lockdown. Damn it. Replace this with one cogwheel and the strap. Then I could just rebuild them all in the same way. I'll try that, but I need a cogwheel. Mark, that's that's Mark. Have we been here a few times, maybe, or were we even stationed here? See, I can't even check that anymore. gas cartridge. Funny how some things are just eternally outdated. It's empty. Boric acid. Chloric acid. It's full of bottles filled with colorful powders and liquids. I can't read the labels. Yes, butane for the but chainsaw. The box itself is labeled A. Carter. I found it with M. These might be the... Then what no, I know... And then the straps. There are some two five. A workbench full of trash and sign, and of course, no workbench. Attention, warning. Yeah, we already that we've already done that. Oh, bottles. Lots of bottles with chemical inscriptions. They're all empty. I was wondering if we could cross-reference them, but that doesn't seem to be available. Substances. This will help me mixing my antidote. Good. There is a compartment for ingredients that just opened. I'm going to need three. Ascorbic acid, my blood, and adrenaline. Okay. 
This fruit is part of the citrus family and contains a lot of ascorbic acid. Tessa, there used to be hydrochloric acid in there. I would advise you not to contaminate the ascorbic acid with it. Look for a more sterile container. Well, I got that. This container is contaminated. You should not use it for the ascorbic acid. Why? Oh, because I... I see, I see, I see. Because I already poured coffee into it. I need to get a fresh cup. Hmm. A teacup, or coffee if you prefer. This container is contaminated. You sh So how do I clean it? Is there a sink nearby? Three D printed novelty mug. Oh, brilliant! Let's get the blood sample. Just a little sting. Yeah. Wow. critical does that have anything to do with the injection correct this confirms my suspicions about the substance to solve the problem you will need vitamin c and adrenaline okay we got that for the mixer a few drops of my blood Use any of this as an antidote. Oh, that seems fragile. I should probably put it over here in case I need them. These are just containers and instruments. No ingredients or substance, but they might still be useful. I'm okay with that. Test tubes, pipettes, spoons. Everything a good chemistry set needs. Everything except chemicals. We don't know what was inside there. Any remnants might contaminate the ascorbic acid. Ah! We need a sterile or at least a disinfected container. Can we go ahead and use the gas bottle? This right here? Tube fits. I'll fill the bottle up completely. Filled with sweet lady propane. The bottle is filled with methyl hydrogen. <laughs> sweet lady methane. Okay. What if the guests want charcoal? Then we tell them politely yet firmly to leave. Chloric acid. Well, I wonder if there's a way to get rid of our cup then. I don't 
think I have to mix these unknown substances, as I have no idea where they come from or what they do. I need a known substance that I can mix it with. This container... Hmm. Well, we already put the blood sample in there. This is the mission console. It will not help us making an antidote. Can't put that on the burner. It's full of bottles filled with, but the boxes, these might, then one of them. No, I know. Upon closer inspection, it's a pretty strange construction. Indeed, it used to be nothing but a water fountain, but then it was augmented and improved. Now it's ready to make tea, coffee, and it even comes with a juice extractor. Oh. I have to place a receptacle here first. Gotcha. I'll put it back here. First, I will have the cup. Yeah, disinfect the cup. I'll have some freshly squeezed juice, please. Guns up. All right. This juice contains ascorbic acid, which we need in pure form. Mixing it will not help us, Tessa. Alright, can we just put it in the input? Or are you gonna tell me? The citrus fruits contain lots of ascorbic acid, but you need to extract it first. With heat, for example, above 290 degrees Celsius. Ah, that's what we use the oven for. Phew! Just put the juice in here, and then we'll wait until there's nothing left but ascorbic crystals. What's the temperature, Core? My sensors indicate 19 degrees Celsius. That should be a comfortable temperature for you. It is, but that's not what I wanted to know. What temperature do we need to heat the fruit juice at? You should have asked more precisely. The optimum temperature to obtain near-pure ascorbic acid is 292 degrees Celsius. Good. Let's see, then. Looks like that worked. All that's left is a crystalline powder. That must be ascorbic acid. Hey! Alright, progress is being made.